A major first hurdle cleared for the permanent renewal of Medicaid expansion in New Hampshire. As WMUR political director Adam Sexton reports, some state senators who have voted against this in the past have now changed their minds. The number of people accessing health care in emergency rooms has dropped dramatically. Uncompensated care, that hidden tax, has dropped. New Hampshire's expanded Medicaid program provides health coverage to 50 to 60,000 low-income Granite Staters, and this year it's up for renewal. Senate President Jeb Bradley, one of the architects of Medicaid expansion in New Hampshire, secured a unanimous vote in the Senate Thursday to renew the program permanently. While the legislation still has another committee to clear before it heads to the House, Bradley has won over conservative senators within his own party who opposed Medicaid expansion in the past. And I will stand here and say I have voted against it in the past. But it, I challenge those individuals who are against it and who didn't bother giving us any testimony to sit there and listen to the woman who due to no fault of her own, was covered under insurance, she got cancer, she was laid off, and she used the, um, the program as a stopgap measure. The big question moving forward is what conservatives in the House want to do about Medicaid expansion. But Senator Bradley says the stats show this program helps people, businesses, and the economy, and that's why opposition in the Senate has faded away. People do because we're glorified volunteers. They listen. And I think that people have listened. And I think it's also been a strength of the program that even some people originally that were detractors of it offered valuable insight into it. And I think that has helped make it stronger. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.